Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do factorization of algebraic expressions using identity 3. So first revise what is identity 3 that we have learnt in algebraic expression chapter. a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Right? This is identity 3. This can be written as this or this can be written as this. And how is it useful for factorization? If we are given an algebraic expression of two terms which are looking like this, where a can be anything. It can be x, it can be a constant like 4, 5 or it can be a mix of constant and a variable like 4x, 4x square or it can be anything. If it can be represented as a square minus b square, then we can derive and write it as a plus b into a minus b left hand side is equal to right hand side or we can write it reverse way given this we can write it as this which is product of two factors a plus b into a minus b so let's take an example suppose we are given an algebraic expression 49 p square minus 36 q square two terms one is this one is this can we use identity 3 seems like because this is also a square 49 is 7 square and 36 is 6 square and this r square itself it is possible so we write it this one as 7 into 7 into p into p minus 36 is nothing but 6 into 6 into q into q now we can write the squares 7 square p square minus 6 square q square you can skip this step and you can directly write this as this also but I prefer this step so that you are very cl clear that there are squares here and now we know by power exponent rules if it is x square y square we can write it as x y whole square that is 7 square p square can be, can be written as 7 p bracket square same thing holds true for 6 square q square as 6 q whole square right so now it seems like in identity 3 thing this is entire thing is a 7 p and this entire thing is b 6 q remember when it says a square minus b square a can be anything it can be just a variable like p square or it can be just a constant like 49 or a combination of the two 7 p which is nothing but entire thing is having a square so this can be thought as a so 7 p is a in this case and 6 q is b in this case and we can write this thing as using identity 3 we can write this thing as a minus b into a plus b so 7 p minus 6 q 7 p whole square minus 6 q whole square became 7 p plus 6 q into 7 p minus 6 q remember this entire thing is a this entire thing 6 q is b so a minus this will be written as a plus b into a minus b and don't forget to write brackets otherwise it will be a different expression right so this algebraic expression of two terms is now broken into factors of 7p plus 6q into 7p minus 6q let's take another example an algebraic expression of four terms right so when you Try to see this kind of one. Try to find out what is commonality here. M square minus O square definitely seems to be identity 3. But then what is going to happen for these? So when you see this kind of problem, you can figure out, oh, seems like M square minus 4MN plus 4N square might be using identity 1 or 2 also. Remember identity 1 or 2, which we learned in the last lesson. So this is possible can be using identity 1 or 2 and which one we can figure out because there is a negative sign it will be identity 2 so let's write it each term as product of its factors so this became m into m this became 2 into 2 into m into n this became 2 into 2 into n into n and o square became o into o so this can be written as m square same like this this can be written as 2 into m into 2 into n we just did a reordering and this is nothing but 2n whole square right 2 square n square or 2n bracket square 
and why we wrote write it like this because this portion can be simplified further only the first three terms can be simplified further using identity 2 a square minus 2 a b plus b square is a minus b whole square so this is a m is same as a and 2 n is same as b so using identity 2 we have simplified the first three terms and written as a minus b whole square and we just write minus o square just like this right and now seems like this seems to be the entire a and this seems to be the o seems to be b for using the identity 3 rule so we were given an expression of four terms which we simplified to two terms in our previous step so this m minus 2n whole square is the one term and o square is another term and if you treat this as entire thing as a that is m minus 2n as a this is looking like a square right and this is b square so we can use identity 3 and write a square minus b square as a plus b and a minus b so m minus 2n is a so you write it as bracket a plus b that is m minus 2n plus o o is same as b bracket a minus b that is m m minus 2n minus o remember this entire thing not m not 2n entire thing is a m minus 2n whole square so a square so this is a m minus 2n is a so we write it as m minus 2n plus o a plus b bracket a minus b so the simplified form of this four term expression is m minus 2n plus o into m minus 2n minus o so we use two identities in this problem first first three terms were reduced to one term using identity 2 and then we took this term and this term and simplified it using identity 3 so that's all in this lesson children bye bye